I've been using the iPad now for five years for productivity. And if you want to take your productivity to the next level, I wanna give you five compelling reasons why you should consider upgrading to this particular model. And I'll go through some of the apps that I'm using on here at the end of the video. The first and most obvious thing when you get your hands on this thing is the weight. Both the iPad itself, which is super thin, and the new Magic Keyboard, which I'll get to later. And honestly, I don't really care about how thin they've made it now, but just the fact that translates into it being even more lightweight has made this a super, super portable machine. Now, the main gripe I had with the older iPad Pros was when you coupled them with the Magic Keyboard, they actually weighed more than a MacBook Air and almost felt the same as a MacBook Pro. And it made you wonder why bother taking it at all if it's not more portable than a laptop? Well, now this has changed everything. The iPad Pro, this is the 11 inch, weighs 444 grams and coupled with the new Magic Keyboard, it's now on par with weighing the same as a MacBook Air. So now you have a more compelling reason to choose this over a MacBook Air when you're on your travels. And honestly, this might actually be the biggest reason why you should upgrade. The second really obvious difference when you pick this up is the new Ultra Retina XDR display, which is these two OLED panels that Apple have used to make the screen even brighter at a thousand nits and just really up the quality of this screen. The blacks are now really black. It's a really contrasty screen. And if you're doing anything like photo editing or even video editing or any kind of like motion graphics work on this thing. You're now going to get a better experience doing those things. And I personally do a lot of work in Lightroom. And so this has now become a much more pleasurable experience when compared to the previous 11 inch iPad Pro, which didn't have the mini LED displays that the 13 inch counterpart had. Now both 11 inch and 13 inch iPad Pros are on par with screen quality. And that's a massive reason to upgrade. And I can definitely see the difference between having used the previous generation for prolonged periods and using this machine. The third reason is the Magic Keyboard, which you can only use on the new iPad Pro models. If you've ever used the Magic Keyboard before, you'll know how nice this thing is to type on. And I'm happy to say this keyboard is even nicer in terms of experience. It now feels one step closer to typing on a MacBook, but I actually think I prefer this keyboard than my MacBook Pro's keyboard. I honestly think if you're gonna get an iPad for productivity, you probably should get the Magic Keyboard as well. And it does its best to emulate what it's like having a laptop, which I think for certain workflows is really, really handy. And with the new row of function keys, which I know we shouldn't praise Apple for implementing, they should have had it years ago, and the new larger trackpad with haptic feedback, this now feels more than ever like a laptop experience. And it does make me wonder what software upgrades Apple have in store for WWDC next month. The fourth noticeable change is the camera. The camera is now no longer on the side. It's now on top if you're viewing it in landscape mode. This now looks much more professional when framed in a video call, you now don't look like you're not looking at the person you're speaking to. And also it really helps with face ID because a number of times I'd have my hands over the camera when trying to unlock my iPad, it would really, really irritate me. I'd have to intentionally kind of move my hand away. Now the cameras being where they are, face ID works even quicker than before. Not to mention the rear camera as well. They got rid of the ultra wide, which no one ever used, but they've now made this adaptive flash technology, which allows you to scan documents and get a clearer image rather than seeing the shadows of your iPad or whatever else is there in the scan. It's actually a really nifty underrated feature and I'm surprised Apple did make a bigger deal out of this. And whereas I'd used my phone before for scanning documents, I think I'm gonna be using this instead. The fifth and probably the most underrated feature is the M4 chip inside this thing. And the reason why I say it's underrated is because I genuinely believe there are some big software updates coming to this thing, which is not in itself a reason to upgrade. I do think the power of this chip will make for a much more seamless experience, particularly if you extend the screen onto a monitor and you use Stage Manager. In the previous generation of iPads, it worked, but at times it felt clunky, it felt a bit buggy, the performance wasn't all that great, and you could only have four apps open at a time. I genuinely believe this will change next month. It's really easy to overlook the fact that you can run all of these powerful apps inside this tiny device, which is fanless, and the performance is as good as most MacBooks that you can buy. So I guess one of the compelling reasons to upgrade is you probably could 
could keep this machine for the next five or six years and it still run really smoothly. So the apps I use are Pixelmator Pro to create thumbnails. I use Lightroom to edit photos. I use Ferrite to record these very videos. I use Notion to script these videos and for life management tasks. I use Flipboard to keep up to date with the latest productivity news. I use both Perplexity and ChatGPT as my AI assistants. I now use TickTick as my task manager and I'm gonna do a dedicated video on why I've moved from things free to TickTick, but this app is incredible. I use Spark as my email client, Fantastic Alpha Calendar Management, and I use Readwise to bookmark and highlight all of the stuff that I'm reading on the web. And basically, yeah, this thing runs all of those things like absolute knife through butter. So that's it, that's five compelling reasons why I think it's worth considering this as an upgrade to level up your productivity. But as ever, feel free to let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think this is worth the upgrade? It's a hell of a lot of money, but don't consider this as a MacBook replacement. This is very much a complement to all of your other productivity devices. And if you look at it in that way, whichever iPad Pro you go for, be it the M1, M2 or M4, you're going to get a device that helps you level up your productivity provided that's exactly what you set it up for. Speaking of which, I'm gonna be doing a reaction video to WWDC announcements next month for iPhone and iPad. So be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.